I'm doing another video following the Sharia law videos that I just uploaded and I want to put a spiritual side to this. Um, if you recall during the election, all, a lot of the Christians in our nation, we all got together and we prayed in our churches. We prayed all the time for God's will to be done. And um, we all see that our country is in shambles right now. And so I'm issuing a call of prayer with that same heart. We need to continue to pray for our nation. And um, just because we're told to do that, and we need to ask God to have His will be done. In Ezekiel 22.30, it says, And I sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land, that I should not destroy it but I found none. So this is a warning for us, and this is something that we have to keep in our minds. Um, then the next scripture is in 1 Timothy 2. It says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in goodness and honesty. We also have in Romans 13, verse 1, it says, Let every soul be subject unto higher powers, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be are ordained of God. That means President Trump is ordained to be in office right now. And then I have 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. A house divided against itself shall not stand. So it doesn't mean that if we pray fervently that our house will stand, but we are called to do that. And I'm just showing you some images here of how much problem we're in <laughs> and so these are the things we need to pray for I need to understand and ask for forgiveness okay um, about what we're doing and what we're accepting into our courts these are protests violent protests that are going on Poverty. People coming in through our borders. So, you guys, it's a call to prayer. We need to do this. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying for mercy, for grace, for people's lives to be saved. There's a lot of hurting people out there. Oh, <laughs>